so as you guys saw we picked up the car uh, from the painter and it's it's insane so here it is so probably in the earlier videos I said I was going with Avis blue for the interior but I changed my mind um, I think silver is the way to go now so I'm, I'm very happy with the choice I made so I'm gonna show you more shots and probably pull it outside and then uh, show you everything so I'm just gonna show you some So yeah, the bay is of course not painted, this is just to keep the rust away. So tomorrow we are going to paint the bay with Mark Tang. So he's coming, I'm gonna do all the prep work. So I sanded the bay already, just need to just tape everything off, tape off the complete car and get everything ready for paint. Uh, I'm probably gonna take the front axle off as well. Uh, I'm probably gonna push the car as far back as possible and then jack it up, and remove the front uh, front top frame and then we can move on. So we're making preparations to paint the bay. I already laid out some foil But we are gonna take the front subframe off so you can reach everything better and I want to repaint the subframe So it's a two-in-one. So we're gonna check up the car and then take the entire subframe off and then should be good Now that the front frame is off, um, there are some small bits we need to do. Of course, we need to get this out of the way. Um, this hose can go. Um, and then here we have some hard lines for the uh, ABS and braking system that it goes to the rear. We can bend that a little so it's out of the way as well. Uh, we need to put some seal sealer around where the tube goes into the cabin. And then here, what we discovered, want to discover it. Well, taking the fenders off, it's getting a bit brown in here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, as you can see, there's some dirt in there. We're gonna vacuum that and then clean all this up and then get all the rust off, put some primer on it. And then tomorrow we're gonna paint that silver as well, just so it uh, stops rusting. So yeah, E36. <laughs> So we basically did everything we needed to do. We seam sealed the edges around the cage. We took all this out, all the rubbers, all the these I couldn't get out, so I'll just paint them silver and everything ready. So what's next is, of course, we can spray in the garage here. So we're gonna cover up the whole garage from like here because we're gonna spray it from here. So we're basically gonna cover hold the garage like this and then after that we're gonna cover the car because of course this doesn't need to get painted so that can get covered and then this can all be painted painted and then of course from probably here I'll draw the line so like well this probably will get painted as well so yeah let's start with covering the garage and uh, I'll keep you guys updated So, 
the day is over for today. We basically taped off everything that needed to get taped off. Um, big thank you to my girlfriend for helping me out with this because it was a big job. And then tomorrow we are gonna paint or paint. We are gonna um, cover the garage from like here and then backwards, but I just covered the entire car just to be sure. But we need to cover like the walls, the door, the roof. So yeah, that's sort of a big job, but a little bit easier because it's not that detailed like this. So tomorrow um, we can uh, start the painting, which is gonna be exciting when the paint is dry and you're gonna see it match with the cage. So uh, exciting stuff coming up. So I'm probably gonna see you guys tomorrow when probably when we are gonna start painting or when the garage is uh, finished. So see you guys tomorrow. So the bay is ready for paint. We taped off the entire garage. So uh, it's gonna be sick. So we're gonna mix the paint now and then we can spray it on. still trying we're gonna cut the glue we've taken the front soft frame apart so it's gonna go into pieces we're gonna respray the subframe um, I think the threads where these x-rays pulled to is ruined so we need to twist that as well and then new pushings for these so some work to the front axle and also the steering rack needs to come off because we got the yellow tag. So now that the front axle is in pieces, our mission for today is replacing these rubber bushings for the PU ones and cleaning them up. And then the major mission is repainting this one. Um, it's not in bad shape, but yeah, it's just a bit worn and old. And in these holes need to go uh, threads for the uh, X-brace. So we need to replace those as well. But we're gonna sand it, give it a new layer of paint so it looks all fresh. Then it's good to go. Control arms because we need to change the bushings. So it got needs to dry two hours. So I hope that's enough time to replace these bushings. But of course you never know. So let's get started on that. So I got the saw here. So we're just gonna try to cut the bushing where it connects to the lollipop. So these sides we're just gonna try to get it off. Then we can take the rest off, change the bushing, and press it back on. So that's, that's the game plan. So they're off, but I see 
I don't know what this is, like hard rubber or just metal. So we're gonna try to cut that so it releases the tension and push that out. See if that works. timer for the primer is done, so we can paint it now. So the final layer is on. I'm gonna let it dry, probably tomorrow we are gonna continue. So it's the next day, it's two days since the engine bay got painted. I still need to take some of the uh, masking foil off, but uh, the light is not that great. It needs some warming up. But the bay is almost ready for putting stuff in. Um, we're probably going to start with like the front, the front subframe and the suspension. Um, I'm still waiting on some extended bolts for the... KW uh, top mounts because the bolts on the top mounts from KW are very short and I don't know why but with the I have like these plates uh, reinforcement plates uh, on top of the cordover and then like below the strut tower and then on the strut tower there is a strut brace so it needs pretty long studs to uh, get all that seated so I'm waiting on that and once I got those studs I can put them in the top mount and we can get the whole front suspension back on. That's the only part I'm waiting on because the subframe is here. That's completely dry now. Looks 10 times better. I also painted the uh, sway bar brackets just because, yeah. I didn't want everything nice and clean and then some little bit rusty uh, brackets. So what we can do is, um, Take the masking foil, of course, from the garage. We can take that off, but also from the engine bay. And that should already create a whole different look just because this is like all weird. So we can take everything off and then it should look a lot different already. So that was the video guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, there have been major steps made in this video and there was so much more exciting stuff coming, for example this. Um, so um, next week you're probably gonna see us finish the engine and then we are off to doing the rest. The build is finally coming together, it's very exciting to see everything coming together and being what I hope it would be. So thank you guys for watching the video, I hope you guys liked it, I hope you guys liked the color choice for the engine bay and please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye